I know I haven't been around much, but that's because my grandkids are here. But I wanted to ask the experts out there, give me a little advice. I'm getting ready to try to learn how to refret necks. And I have a, a, several worn out necks. This one, the Hendrix guitar that I've been playing so much, it's just, it has Dunlop 6105 wire on it. And I think that stuff's pretty soft because I started wearing it out right away. And I, but I've been playing it for five years and they're getting flat. So I, I, what I was thinking of doing, and just put it in the comments, and if you have any advice on wire, I'm tending towards the Jeskar because I heard the Jeskar wire is a little bit better uh, compound, a little bit harder, lasts longer. I've used the EVO Gold in my vintage strats. You know, the, this one here, the black one, it has EVO Gold. You can see the gold wire. And uh, they last forever. But there is a compromise on tone a little bit. But what I've thought about doing, and I've actually almost done it, is I'm getting an exact replica or exact neck, maple neck for this strat. I'm going to put the new neck on, and then I'm going to learn how to refret this neck. I've got several other necks that I need to refret. Excuse me for a second. Uh, the, this is my 57 reissue Seafoam Green that you never see me play, but that's mainly because the these frets are flatter than that one. These things are, these are, and I, I mean it's almost unplayable. And I put jumbo frets on it, but I really would like to practice on this neck. And this thing is so beefy. I took some wood off on it. Wood from it and still need to take some wood. I Luckily Music Craft has all of the uh, uh, dimensions for every type of neck so I can measure this now and get an idea of what I want you know it, close to a boat neck or a medium C somewhere in between there but then I think I'm gonna practice on this one and I'm looking at 6105 or 6150 fret. 6150 is a little bit wider, about the same height, but a little wider. Not the, the full jumbo. And then I've got this neck, which came off of my, actually came off the Seafoam Green Strat. This is the original neck from the Seafoam Green Strat. But the one thing I never liked about it, was it has a very thin profile. I don't know, I'm sure if I measured it, it would come up to thin. And it's got kind of a funky finish on it. It's been refretted with huge jumbo frets. And I just, you know, the jumbos just aren't made for Fender guitars, I don't think. More for Les Pauls. So either way, the neck's not gonna be cheap uh, to replace this neck. It's going to be more than the Music Craft. I've looked at Music Craft. I've looked at uh, Warmoth and, and that US CG or something. I forgot the initials, but I didn't look at them as much as the other two. And it was getting a little complicated on specking everything out. I was looking for maybe a maple cap like the late 60s uh, strats. But if you have any advice, uh, let me know. I know I've got a luthier down in uh, about 45 minutes from here but I just hate to shut down take my neck take my guitar out of service take it down there wait a week or whatever it's actually pretty reasonable I don't know what his rates are now but I know it's between 150 and 200 dollars but for about hundred and fifty dollars I can get what I need for that Stumac uh, fretting toolkit but it, it's just a hammer some files. I have a crowning file, a diamond crowning file that I bought years ago. And I've got the, the sanding stick. I've got a few things that are in that kit, so I'm just going to piece it together. $157. And I don't know if I really am ready to start hammering frets. I wish I could get one of those fret presses. I love the way those things work. I, 
I watch the videos on YouTube of those guys just pressing the frets in. It looks so easy. Changing the radius uh, die so that you get the proper radius. Uh, most of my necks, I think this one's a full 10 degree and I will interested in a compound radius, but I'm just going to make it simple. Stick with the 10. I think this one's a, the standard. Well, actually, I don't know what this one is because this is a replacement neck. But the original one was seven and a quarter radius, this one. <clears throat> seven and a quarter. But it would be great to have one of those presses. So if you know of a cheap press out there besides Stumac, I mean, Stumac is, uh, you know, it's expensive. Uh, everything they have, I guess, is top notch. But and I, everything I've gotten from them is top quality. I also ordered the book, a uh, refretting book that Dan Earlywine and another guy put together and I'm waiting for that. should get that in a couple of days. So that's my first step is to read that. But I've got a lot of refretting to do. I would love to learn how to do it. So if you have any advice, let me know. I appreciate uh, guy Matt offering to refret my necks. I should have taken you up on that offer, but I, I just would rather learn how to do it myself. <clears throat> I might regret it in the long run. Either way, I just wanted to touch base. I've been out of out of touch. Uh, I've got my grandkids here still for another month. It's hard to do videos, but I've been working on Astro Man, um, the instrumental off of Everybody Should Own One. It's you know bootleg stuff, but it's just the coolest jam. It's 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 definitely a jam. He just winging it most of the time but the very beginning and all of it's just a really good rhythm I wanted to do it with the neighbors you know do a jam with the neighbors but I'm, I'm not sure if we'll be able to get together and pull it off so I may just you know do a little tutorial on that and I, th this video is actually done with my daughter's fancy Sony A A something camera I can't tell but I like her videos that she does on YouTube and also, I'm going to post a couple of links, some hot tips. Everybody always wondering, you know, what did Jimmy do with his guitars as far as setup goes? And I found, and a lot of you may have seen it already, but it's the first time I'd seen it. Seymour Duncan, when he actually went to meet with Jimmy, and he talks about how Jimmy set up his guitar. Jimmy told him what he did. And one thing that he said was, oh, Jimmy said, oh, I just pushed down on this. And he said, I think it was an eighth inch here, an eighth inch in the middle, and then a sixteen inch, sixteenth of an inch clearance here. So when he said that, it dawned on me. I checked my guitar and I said, well, shoot, because that's how he gets those bell-like tones on the bass. He didn't say anything about the treble strings. But luckily, these two were already set up pretty much an eighth of an inch. But this one was really pretty low the the bridge pickup and I never thought about it since it's got the op the reverse tilt that you could probably jack this thing up a lot and get a better bass string sound so it turns out I had to jack it up probably at least an eighth of an inch I don't know if you can see how high I've got it now but it's about a sixteenth of an inch and it definitely sounds good I mean this guitar is sounding so Jimmy-ish. It's when you hear uh, Astro Man, you'll agree, hopefully. But it sounds amazing in here. I just built another foot pedal, speed control pedal for the Sabatius. Uh Funky Vibe. Shipped that off to Oklahoma. I'm telling you that Funky Vibe is cool. So if you want a great vibe, even the, the guy who just bought it, the one in Oklahoma, he said he's been twining for years and years and gone through. I don't know how countless vibes and he said this is the first one that actually nailed the authentic sound and I agree I mean they're expensive but so are the other ones it's actually less expensive than the, the other ones like the Sir Henry and the Vibro and the you know but this thing sounds good what else oh I got a, a new fuzz coming from Pedal Pond in the UK well, my buddy Chris Robinson I appreciate it thank you I'm gonna do a do a demo on that it probably won't be here he he sold out really fast um, 
follow him pedal pawn on instagram and you'll hear the 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 fuzz that he just built and it's really nice so i'm going to do a video on that what else we got going that should do it i just wanted to let you guys know i'm still here and uh take care and i'll talk to you later